Hey everybody. Hi, how are you? Uh, this is Alex and uh, we should be going live on on Facebook here. Uh, let me see here. We got some people waiting for us as well. Uh, let me, let me, uh, this is our little Monday get together. It's a very casual and uh, uh, it's also on, uh, let's see, it's on Facebook. Let me make sure it's going out on Facebook. Let me do this. And we'll see. Is it going out on Facebook? Yeah, it's going out on Facebook. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. We got some people waiting too. Uh, here comes Len. And here comes, I don't know, what's his S? Oh, Scott Boddicker. Okay, good for Scott. And uh, let's see. We have, uh, uh, this says iPad, so that's got to be Shecky, I think. Yeah, is it? Yep, it is. Hi, Shecky. How are you? Good. The alarm guy just came, put in a new battery. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> and, and we have, of course, Len and there's Scott and who knows if other people will join us. Uh, tell, them, tell them why you had to call the, uh, the alarm guy. Well, because the power went off on Tuesday afternoon and didn't come back till Saturday. Oh, imagine that i didn't i don't think even during the worst blackout that we that i went through here in new york we were out that long no we had one and it wasn't sandy but there was one about seven years ago that we were out for like six days no oh my. but i still had a job so i could go to the office and plug in yeah as i told you I was going to the liquor store on the turnpike to plug in and get power for my <laughs> iPad. It was terrible. You you had it pretty bad. I mean, I you called, you wrote me and said, I don't have any power. And I went, oh, okay, well, that'll be a day or so, right? Yeah, but the problem was, as you know, the iPad and the iPhone was losing juice. So I couldn't yeah. like sit on the phone with you for three hours. And everybody is going crazy here, by the way, because not only did it go out with you, it went out in Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut's still a mess, from what I've heard. Really, yeah. still a mess, huh? Okay, wait a minute. Here comes, uh, here comes Marjorie, and here comes uh, Steve Bender. Steve back, <laughs> huh? Hey, yeah, Marjorie. Hi, Steve. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, can you hear me? Turn Hello. your TV set. I am. I'm working on it. <laughs> turn down your radio. <laughs> yeah, turn down your radio. <laughs> yeah, we're on a second delay. Hi. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, uh, uh, and then here in New York, we had one the other day, and I don't know whether I was affected or not because my machine was rebooted in the morning. So was this machine over here, but hers wasn't. And then one in the other room was, and the uh, a couple other things. It's supposedly like a thirty minute blackout in Harlem in the Upper West Side. Oh, well, oh really? I, yeah, I don't. I, 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 At 5.30 in the morning, so you kind of missed it. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. So, see what you other people don't have to put up with? See? See? Yeah, but, you know, there was a big earthquake in what was it, North Carolina yesterday. I mean, it's, yeah. you know. Steve's in Manhattan. Did, you, did yours go out? No, we were fine. I think it was only uptown. Really? Oh, thank you. No, but we didn't lose our electricity, Alex. It was only no, you did We were asleep. <laughs> no, the thing is, the microwave usually resets itself to midnight, right? Yeah. And it didn't. And yet my coffee maker did. Well, it could be one of your circuits went, but not the other one. Uh, yeah. yeah well, I told you, I'm on like two different circuits. So originally, I didn't have my, up, my lights above, you know, in my room and everything else was working. And then an hour later, everything went, you know. Len, no problem where you are, right? Well, you're yeah. out in California. Yeah. Oh, you got 90, all you 90 got. degrees, sunny, no humidity. Yeah, lots of coronavirus. <laughs> Forest fires. Did anybody, did anybody even begin to think when this whole thing started and we got up around 400,000 that any state would beat us? Yeah. And now you guys have gone, you got about 100,000 more people. We're number four on the list now, and I like you that. You try harder. In fact, <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about, uh, about you know, um, the coronavirus and infected places. California, and then uh, over Florida. here, this guy here, Scott Boddicker, <laughs> he's in the home of Snapple. 
right? Plano, Texas. Plano, Texas. That's where they were the home headquarters of, of, of Snapple are. Andrew, Florida. You're, you're in Cleveland, are you? Yep. Uh, huh? Yep. We got the governor that that uh, can't take a COVID test and get it right. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he took the COVID test and pr we, we joke. He pretended it was positive, so he didn't have to talk so to Trump. So he didn't have to meet Trump. <laughs> yeah, so he didn't have to meet him. And now he's taking, now he's taking two to show he's negative. He didn't have COVID. The yeah. test was faulty. Yeah. And, did, he uh, take, did he take a third in case? He did. He did. I thought he took, I thought he took four. Yeah. I don't know about the fourth, but either way, it's kind of funny because oh, if, it, oh, if I wanted a COVID it. test, It'd take me a week to get the results. He can get one exactly. Right away. If you were lucky. I'm, not, you know, though, I'm Trump, not a better. Trump makes a big deal out of the um, out of the Abbott tests. Um, That's the one he failed. <laughs> in fact, That's the I, one that gave him a false positive. A report on NBC with Tom Costello. So it was Abbott and Costello. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, sorry for that one, especially to you, uh, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate you just smirking. Uh, we... Um, uh, You're a saint, Marjorie. He, the, he, <laughs> he, he um, is lauding the Abbott test, and yet the Abbott test is wrong 50% of the time, I hear. I think it's 40, but that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. So why would you go with a test? You know, if you're looking for results and trying to get answers, do you go with a test that's that bad? You, you know? do when you're Trump. Trump. Well, you read he. Why does anything surprise you, Alex? Governor to put his face on Mount Rushmore. Oh, <laughs> yeah, when, when, when was now? What was, it's in the paper today? I know. Yeah, that yeah I saw it. He wanted his face on Mount Rushmore. He wants to be put onto Mount Rushmore. And he's <laughs> actually he's actually engaged in that conversation more than once. Yeah. Wow. Why, <laughs> Governor? He likes you know he obviously likes putting his name on stuff. That's well, just how he rolls, right? I, mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I could see maybe on Mount Flushmore. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Douchemore. Yeah. You know, I don't understand why. I mean, I you know, I can say, well, Teddy Roosevelt, should he be up there? But the reason he's up there is because he was president, I think, when they when they started carving it. Am I right or wrong? No, they started carving it in the late twenties. He was already dead. Oh, he was already dead? Okay, well then there was some recent memory of him or whatever. But if I think he did all the national parks. Yeah, he started the national, national park guy. Yeah. That's why it was. Uh, That's why. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, Trump has the audacity <laughs> to think he should be on Mount Rushmore. Well, they're yes. going to start a new one <laughs> to help him. It's going to be him, Epstein, Cosby. Um, <laughs> trying to think who else. Is Lynn Mac well, whatever her name is, that woman. Oh yeah, Jelaine Maxwell. Yeah, I've never known how to pronounce her first name. She has several ways she pronounces it, you know. She's there, like, not giving her, well, uh, she well, can't, she's going to be in prison till her trial. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I, dead. I, I wish her the best of luck. <laughs> uh, her trial will be in a year. year. What, I just let him 12062. Who would that be? Let's see here. We'll, we'll soon find the out. Audio Donald is Trump. I heard in prison she's going to be training the other the other women on how to treat their cellmates properly. <laughs> it's about it's about technique. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, so uh, how uh, how uh, how is everything in California? Is it uh, is it bad? But you got your name. Oh, there you go. We still have outdoor dining. We have, uh, but we can't get a haircut. Um, really? Yeah, no. The, the, all the salons are still closed. They don't uh, do it out the street? Mine are uh, They started that in another county, mm -hmm. but no, they're not doing that. It's crazy. Hey, Alex, I wanted to ask you something. A buddy of mine asked me the other day we were talking about you, believe it or not, and he said he was a friend with the guy that was in a group called The Finders that you used to have on your show? Finders, uh, yeah. Do you remember them at all? Yeah, um, and they did a song called Bad Food. Okay. That we used to like to play because it contained people barfing. And <laughs> oh, that highbrow humor. The highbrow humor that I'm so used to doing. 
<laughs> but he, he he asked me to ask you about that, and I said, "Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. I don't remember that particular." Whoever twelve o six two is, uh, it, it's not going well. It's not going well. It's not going well. You. It's not so going you see well. my books, funny stamps above me now. Huh? There's Kevin. Hey, right Kevin. above me. Hey, Kevin. Funny Kevin. Boy, there's turn a light on or something. All we see, it's like you're in a witness protection Your beard. program. He's Santa. Turn on the lights. <laughs> Roger Wall will work if we What did he look like? Well, uh, all I know is he had a beard. Uh oh. He had a mustache, too. I, I don't know what's happening. Who who do you think's trying to connect there? Is anybody we know? Shannon? 12062? Tony. You heard, you heard you were bad. Probably. <laughs> uh, it, it, one, uh, 12062. Can you hear us? Well, I'm going to get rid of him and he can try again. Okay, let's see here. Uh, remove. Okay, remove. A little button that looks like one of those canes at the Apollo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, uh, it, it, it's you. So you have outside dining. We have outside dining here too. We yeah. ate outside the other day. So he does. And. Um, we went, to, we went to a restaurant that we like going to, and we love it. Yeah, we liked it. We love it. We, it's it's not so much that we love it, but we love supporting it. They're good people. They're right. Good, you know, decent people. Food's good. Food's great. You know. So we finally went back there the other day, and we ate outside. And Marjorie went to work today. Oh, wow. she was there from seven thirty to about two. Yeah, on the subway. No, I took a taxi. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a bus before I take a subway. Did you see in the Times today it showed you what a, a sneeze would be like <laughs> in a subway? <laughs> the, the animation of a sneeze in the subway car. Yeah, but, you know, if you're wearing masks and everybody else is wearing masks, it doesn't really matter. I'll take but a bus before I take a subway. What'd you say? Uh, I said, is everyone else wearing masks? Oh, yeah. They can't get on unless they do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That'll keep most of that sneeze in place. Well, I have to go back to my dentist on Thursday. I'm going back till she gets it right. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, uh -huh. I have to go back there, and I'm taking a car again. But it costs me, like, it, she goes, well, we're doing root canal. She says, it'll take about three or four visits. Oh, I say, oh, well, then that's, uh, let's see here. That's about a hundred and thirty dollars worth of cab rides for me. You Jeez. know, one way I take the bus going home. Wow! How did you come home today? I took a taxi. But I put it on the office credit card. Yeah, and how much was the taxi? It was twenty-seven, including oh. everything. But anyway, so uh, yeah, sure. Why didn't you make it thirty more visits? Okay, <laughs> like keep coming back all the time. You know. Well, she's helping the helping the local economy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Have you taken enough cab rides? No. Well, then come back for a cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Is Uber still running at all? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're still running, but we don't take them. We take Lyft. Mm. I like Lyft. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Lyft is like so clean. I like I Vita, but the, the, they've jacked the prices so high. They all have Lyft Vita house. It is now thirty dollars. Uh. Yeah. Well, it takes it cost us what about thirty the other day to go to the yeah. Day. But I take like today when I went to the office, I took New Harlem cars, which I take it's a local thing. It was twenty. Right. I mean, I guess they're not doing ride sharing, so they have to raise the prices. They still do ride sharing, but they, you have to look for it. Yeah. But you, had, you, had, but you want ride share, you yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> but you had to, as they say in the vernacular, Jew them down. <laughs> <laughs> I. I always, I always hated that term. I don't know why, but it, that, because it's that a vile anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude. It is, it's it's terrible. Terrible. Whenever someone would say that to me, and I would always respond, "No, we don't Christian anybody down here. We just <laughs> <laughs> now twelve oh six two. I let back on, and they're they've got their uh, their uh, mute. microphone mute. muted. They've got their Are audio you off. Mute your phone, or am I going to have to remove you one more time? <laughs> your name, Vladimir. <laughs> One two zero oh, six two. Turn your audio on. Yeah. See, he doesn't. Uh, they don't know. Okay. Well, I can get rid of him. Get rid of him. Bye bye. 
We need a, we need a bell for when you boot so hardly, hardly knew you. Okay. Next time he tries to come in, I won't let him in. You know what I like about this, this Zoom is that I can actually determine who gets on and who doesn't you get on. You can control it. Yeah. Uh, it, it's my... I guess we have to be nice, huh? It's my... Yeah. It's my filter. You know, and you know, my joke is, the reason Tony's not here, he's feeding his mother right now. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I love Tony. I, I love that about it. No, I do. The, yeah, you know. the only way he'll take care of his aging mother is if they pay him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do it free. Yeah. Well, I still haven't put a tombstone on my mother's grave, so who am I to talk? Oh, jeez. <laughs> when did she pass, Alex? I remember that. I think in the 1800s sometime. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about the other day, and somebody I was talking to on the program said, well, I haven't put a tombstone on my mother's grave either. And so I didn't feel as bad, because now there are two of us in Western society who haven't put a <laughs> well, I, yeah. I, I haven't yet. I've been trying for years, but she won't die, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good. Well, you know, Tony oh, I thought you said mother-in-law. I, don't miss, I don't go to my mother's and father's grave site. Why? Why am I going? Yeah. yeah I, I always found that to be like, have you been, when was the last time you went to see your father's grave, huh? And my mother would say to me, well, let's go out to your, the, your father's grave. And I'm going, is there a reason for that? I mean, no, you know, they got, they got names on, you know, they're, they got their names he, on their grave sites. Well, he, he, I don't need to go. He's dead. I don't think he's going to know that I'm there. My, my mother, who's 92, makes me go to the cemetery every time I go visit her to go see my dad, who passed about four years ago. Yeah. And she says, we need to bring him flowers or he's going to be mad at us. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I used to go with my grandmother, and she'd always put a penny on the on the grave. And I would on go, the top. Yeah, do that. He's going to buy guns oh, for up at Bridgewater. It's a stone. Jews do a stone. Yeah, Jews yeah. Do a stone. She did that, too. But if she had a penny, it was a penny. And I told her, if you keep giving him gum, he's going to screw up his bridge work. Stop it. <laughs> well, I, the stone always reminds me of the end of Schindler's List, where all the people go up and put the stone on Schindler's mm. grave. You know, the only time I would go there, if I wanted to stop at Stu Leonard's on the way back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Stu Leonard's in your, in your father's grave. <laughs> well, it's right now, It's like about a quarter of a mile from the, you know, the cemetery. You know. We do it all together. Now, do you know where you're going to be buried? Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to be cremated, though I always have in the back of my mind <clears throat> that you're going to get screwed when you find that there actually is something up there. <laughs> yeah, there's always that. Well, if you want to be cremated, the go-to person is Marjorie, because um, I'm hoping she goes <laughs> before I do, because she's planning on making me crispy. Oh, <laughs> oh I want to be- Is you know, comment I'm, on her cooking? Absolutely. Oh. What if, what if you later found out there really was somewhere else? I'm not donating my organs either, because you know you don't know if you're going to need them up there. Oh, <laughs> you're right. no prostate, no prostate, no service. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, up there, like you're going up there. Who, who's calling? Yeah, the spam. You know, I've seen Look at Jordan, and I've seen Stairway to Heaven. You know, yes, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I think we should all donate our bodies to science fiction when we die. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, um, um, but, you know, what, what's happening is um, with all the coronavirus, our new TV shows are not coming out. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Are they making them in Georgia yet, uh, Shecky? Which one? Are they making them in Georgia yet? Because a lot of the shows we watch are in... There was talk, and as you know, General Hospital is back and the soaps are back. Where are they doing those out of? Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay. But what about our shows? Like, uh, you know, I don't think Star Control and the other ones are back in production yet. Yeah. Okay. You know, and then Supergirl is pregnant, so she wasn't going to be doing it anyway. <laughs> Nothing like a pregnant Supergirl. Yeah. They should have worked that into the plot. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, you you know. throw off aerodynamics? There, well, there was a super baby for Clark Kent at one point. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, war- wardrobe's too expensive. It's a lot He's more fabric. He's your go-to guy for DC Comics. By the way, I, we were, I, Shecky and I were watching a show called Stargirl. How good, that was a good episode. How good was that last night? Yeah. Just really loving and caring and, you know. And blew the budget. <laughs> you can always wait for the last episode of any season of a special effects show to see them blow out the special effects. No, Whatever they have left in their budget. Hmm? Usually it's the episode before the finale oh, where yeah? they blow the budget out and then they all sit around and talk for an hour. This one was just one special effect after another. It was just, you know. But and setting it, the next season. Yeah. Yeah. There is going to be a next season, isn't there? Oh, it's already been renewed. Yeah, yeah. Who knows when, but they'll have one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the same thing's true. We were, we were talking about, we watch a show called Doom Patrol on DC. And it's and also... I emailed you, they didn't do the 10th episode. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, they ended with the ninth episode. And it was kind of like I felt a lot of loose ends here, you know? But they tried to edit it to some kind of conclusion yeah. for now. You watch The Blacklist, the final episode of that, because they couldn't finish filming it, they animated. Really? It it was really wild to watch the last episode because it switches to these animated scenes with voiceovers. Oh, that's funny. They finished the season. Well, that, you know, we... It was clever. Yes, and the thing is, we're getting pretty inventive this way. But you know what I I watch a lot of? YouTube. Yeah. (laughs) It's endless. It's endless. The other night yeah. I decided I want to see Charlie Chaplin's acceptance speech at the Academy Awards, and there it was. Wow. You know. That's cool. Well, huh? Everything cool. is on YouTube. Everything's on YouTube. You copyright or not. Guess who I was watching last night? A very young you. <laughs> on the Me? Letterman on Letterman oh. with the meet the uh, the crew or meet the staff. Yeah. with you on it. <laughs> Boom. Look different. All right. Yeah, well, you know, hey, you were, I got you were, paid. You were a child. Was he sitting up, at least? Oh, no, he was sitting. <laughs> Dave brings him out as the film coordinator and says, here, check in. But then they... they but that, actually, that episode, I we bumped Sandra, you know, what's her name? Um, The gay uh, comedian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sitting in the control room because I was just always like the standby person to come on. And they looked at me and go, get out there. <laughs> so I'm like a deer, literally a deer in the headlights. Because, because the, the film clip you gave him to show was just something you It was watch. like bloopers. It was bloopers. The Warner Brothers bloopers. Yeah. Yeah, but literally, no joke. I was sitting in the, in the control room, just da, 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 and then they look at me and go, get out there. <laughs> <laughs> so the sweater I was wearing, it's like whatever I was wearing that day. You like, look, I have to there. show it to Marjorie when we get through here, because I, I, I put it aside so you could see it. Uh, you and I'm just so, and I admit, I'm so just young happy. there, you know. And then I was watching, I was watching me at a weekend we did at a ski resort for the radio show in San Francisco, and we did some video on it. And I'm saying to myself, God, I was young. Actually, it's got video of the only time I've ever skied in my life. Hmm. With two people holding each of my hands while I was doing it. Do you ski? No, Jew don't ski. No, Jew don't ski. Well, she, buddy Hackett routine. You ski, right, Marjorie? I used to. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to break my leg if I ski. That's why I don't do it. Yeah. By the way, that reminds me, of the, that's one of the greatest punchlines of all the time when Jack Benny meets a kid in the uh, supermarket on one of his shows, and the kid says, Mr. Benny, I play the violin. He says, you play like I do? He says, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I told you, my brother's building a ski slope in his backyard. Yeah. You mean, you mean you're, you're, I've got trillions of dollars? Yes. Yeah, he's probably yeah. got more money than Trump Ace claims to have. Backyard. Yeah. yeah. And he lives in, uh, what is that? Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And uh, uh, he's building. So he has a hill and he's making a ski trail. Yeah. 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 His office right. building, Alex knows this, is like 
a hundred yards from the main ski slope of Steamboat Springs. Mm. <laughs> Oh, and all his skis are in his office, waiting to go get used. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, how's he doing through the pandemic? Is he making money? Well, I told you, he's up 20% this year. Okay, wow. well, you know, that, that's until... That's, hey, that's like, why, don't you buy, why don't you buy a new car? And it's like, my car works. Why do I need a new car? Yeah. The well, garage door is a different story. He's but, up 20% you know. this year until the government catches him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently he said he had he's had short positions for the last three years that have come home to roost this year. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I've made a good deal of money, thank the Lord, from him. So but Scott, I'm still not buying a new car. <laughs> Scott, are you and your family afraid of getting corona? Are you staying indoors? Are you uh, washing your hands? Uh, are you autoclaving your genitals? Well, I think my wife had it a couple of weeks ago. I mean, she was sick for about three, four days, but nobody else got sick. So, we, and we didn't get her a test. So, you know, but yeah, I was afraid when she got sick, we were going to get it. Yes. Three, four days That's that probably it. isn't coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she got over it. Yeah. Then it was like, well, okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I probably, she, did she have a flu shot this year? No. Uh, not yet. No. no. Uh, uh, I mean, last winter. I, I think she no, she forgot. She was she was traveling and then here's when a, their here's company a did it. A flu shot, everybody, is so that you know it isn't Corona. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, They'll start giving it in September. Yeah, they just announced in the news here that CVS has them in Ohio has the flu shot already. They have them yeah. now. Yeah, wait, I usually wait till September though to get it. Wait a minute, why? Yeah. Why do they get? The, wait, wait, I haven't heard about this. <laughs> what, there, there's a flu shot. <laughs> Before the well, why are you so damn important? You should know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Well, so the but the question is, who has priority in getting? Whoever shows up at the pharmacy first to get the doses they have. Really? Yeah, would, older people. I would think they would say older people and oh, and, if you go to Costco or your doctor, if they have it, they give it to you. Yeah. The right. supply is fine usually. We're the pharmacy. We we go to a COVID pharmacy. vaccine. However, we'll have a, pri a gather a priority list. It should. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're old people. We need to get ours. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, have you had any? Uh, do you know anybody who's gotten it yet in New York? Just um, people through you know you know friends who know somebody who knows somebody. No, I don't. Nobody that I'm we, that I really know. We're listening to today's. Um, uh, um, Cuomo cast, as we call it, and the Cuomo Variety Hour. And uh, he announced we have the lowest infection rate ever. We were down, yep. uh, down to, uh, of all the tests given, and there was something like over 50,000. Uh, well, wait, wait till the kids go back to school in three weeks. It came out to 0.88%. Yeah. That's pretty low. That's but the school thing, the school thing is crazy, right? And, well, and only two people died in the whole state of New York. That's, uh, you know, that's getting pretty that's good. good. Uh, but you know, the president has told us that children cannot get the virus. Oh, okay. And they're, they're immune, except for the ones that get it. Do you know, I read yeah. the other day, do you know how many kids under the age of 10 have had it so far? <coughs> A lot. 338,000. And a few have died. Wait till all these people come back from Sturgis and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're going. They're going back to their homes in California. Good luck. Uh, oh, no. Thanks. <laughs> people from here in Ohio go to Sturgis every year. People from Pennsylvania go to Sturgis. Yeah. It's a national. Two hundred fifty thousand people from all over the country. What? what yeah. Even without asking, go to. But what they do man. is they tow. Because I was in the trailer industry for a while. They buy tow trailers and they get within about eighty miles take out their motorcycle and ride in like they just rode the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> the, Not the biggest, bad. The biggest market for motorcycle trailers are midlife crisis guys with Harleys. They want to pretend they go across the country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I think uh, Kevin probably knows a little bit about that because you, you, you're, 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 what is it? Hog rider is your, uh, one of your names on, uh, on Skype. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, you, uh, you, you, you ride motorcycles, right? Yep. Have you ever been to Sturgis? Nope. Ever wanted to go to Sturgis? Yeah, I have. Really? But we have Hollister here, so it's like the, it was at one point the fifth largest rally here in the U.S. behind Sturgis. Wasn't Hollister supposedly where the wild one took place? Yeah, that's where it was, uh, that's where it took place, and they have, they wrote that, that movie with Marlon Brando was made here. Yeah. And we have the bar down here where the fight took place and everything else. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, the Johnny's, Johnny's Bar and Grill is right downtown, and they still have the same ice box and everything. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, you can go in there. And I've, get been, a drink I've been to Burgess, but not during the rally. What did you go there for? Just because you were going through Sturgis? I went to see Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah, it's out that way. Yeah, it's near there. By the way, uh, so Trump, I yeah, you were right. I read that he wants to put his face on Mount Rushmore. Yes. And this isn't fake news, by the way. I saw it on Newsmax. Yeah. Okay. I, I got in a conversation yesterday with a guy about how, you know, Trump is uh, the fake news and, and the, 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 he does these press conferences and to get, to get ambushed and attacked. And I go, you do know, he's the guy calling him. You can't call it an ambush. <laughs> if you're, calling if you're, the, if you're yeah. asking the people to come out that are supposedly ambushed. You, know. you can't call an ambush if you call the Indians and tell them where you're going to be. Yeah, exactly. You know. you know, he had one at the golf course the other day with all of his little friends. And then when the woman from CBS asked a difficult question, guess what? They booed. End of news conference. Right. Yeah. They all clapped. Well, that's his latest thing, though. If it ever starts getting hot, he just goes, I'm out of here. That's right. Goodbye. Yeah. And, uh, if you look I'm going at, back uh, to executive order, bottom, you know. His press, uh, order, everybody uh, thinks it's about killing Social Security, which is an afterthought. He knows he's losing, and he's trying to write himself his last tax cut before he leaves. The employment, That's the employer is. tax is Social Security it, and it Medicare. But, but on top of it, if you really look at what that order does, the top 1% or get the biggest tax cut in, their, in the history if at the end of the cycle, the government says, okay, well, we don't need to collect it. We, so what he's doing yeah. is delaying the money till the end of the year. And you want to be the politician that now tells everybody, okay, you haven't paid these taxes for so long. Now you have to pay. Yeah, so they're going to forgive it. He just wrote himself a tax cut illegally. Hmm. I don't know if you've heard, but he's kind of a jerk. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but it's illegal and it's never going to happen. You're right. But that's what he had tried to do. But he's trying to, you know, make that great announcement. You know, it's like, again, Alex knows what I think about Mayor de Blasio, who's like, we don't really want the 1% to come back to Manhattan because we love our low-income people. And they're just so wonderful. Uh-huh. Hmm. <coughs> yep. So I'm going to play a little game here. I'm going to put something uh -oh. up to the camera. Is anybody, can you see that? It's yes. your tooth. It's my filling in my tooth. Oh, God. Are we still no, it's, talking about this? It's a filling. <laughs> it's a temporary filling she put in, which is basically, I think I can go up to the hardware I'm store and get some of this. I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. It's, it's, it's caulking. Great. No. I'll see you no, next week. No, 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 no. Stick around. Stick Marjorie, around. you're going to have to hear about this later. <clears throat> you heard I've heard about it. About it. Among, oh. a, among a plethora of things, the one thing that happened that fell out last night. And it was driving me crazy because it was just wobbling around it. I've got my finger on the lead. No, that's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, we're through. We're through. However, the dentist did call me last night. And she said, don't worry about it. It's not. I put a plug in there. That's just some coffee. Oh, God. Yeah, it's your cleaning. <laughs> it never ends. Now, I, I think that counts as my tartar for the next cleaning. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, forget it. it, it uh, uh, because Marjorie heard me just screaming and yelling last night. I was so mad about it. Anyway. And he takes so it out on me. I didn't well, take it tell out us on about you. your tooth. You did, just ignore it. I wasn't taking it out on you. Oh, I, yeah. Just ignore the screaming and the yelling and the just ignore it like it's not happening. You got any gorilla glue, gorilla glue in the drawer? Scream. Okay. So it's not you. Okay. But. Uh, 
God, here a bunch of shit. Alex, yeah. life is so bad for you. <laughs> yeah, it's it true. really is. Well, I'll tell you, it ain't great though, because you know I'm old. You have a lovely wife. You have a lovely apartment. Your girlfriend. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> well, uh, the the apartment is is on, right now on loan. And uh, yeah, the, but the way things are going now, it could be on loan till yeah, 2040. Yeah, 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 and then they'll say you owe us five million dollars, you know, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but uh, that and my wife, you know, she could leave me any second, so you know, well, if she was wise, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, sometimes I don't know why she sticks around. I asked myself the same question many times. Well, because she's got the other apartment rented out. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. No, I... Yeah, go up to the 140s. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. The reason is she loves me. Anyway, yeah, well. uh, yeah she can't help it. I'm so adorable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what movie I watch? I, I watch Radioactive, this movie about um, Madame Curie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. It, uh, I have a few problems with it. They, they, they try to juxtapose it with the misuses of, the, of radioactivity, like the atom bomb and Chernobyl and so on. And they kind of work that into the film, but it doesn't exactly work because... This takes place in the 1800s, and all of a sudden, moments later, you're watching the bomb go off in uh, in, in Nevada, you know, and it it that's where it doesn't work. But the story is a fascinating story, you know. I mean, she was a brilliant woman, just brilliant. Uh, she didn't discover radioactivity. Someone else discovered the existence of radioactivity, but she did come up with plutonium and uh, one other one other element. She and her husband invented two elements, and then she got a second Nobel Prize for chemistry. I don't know if you know. Uh, have you ever seen the old movie from the 40s? I haven't watched that one, no. Yeah, Gre Greer Garson. Garson, yeah. yeah. And I thought the pigeon played Pierre. Yeah, Maybe yeah. No, it's not bad. It's not, who, who, Mervyn Leroy, I think. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. he get run over by a... Uh, a uh, uh, wagon? It, <laughs> Mervyn Leroy? It, no, no. Pierre Curie. That's how he died. I think he died, oh, actually. Yeah. I don't remember it very well, but I remember it was a good, I saw it as a, when I was a kid. It was a good bio flick. And she died from radio, uh, from uh, cancer. Radio, 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 radium poisoning or something. Yeah, but, you know, when she invented it, she, you know, in the movie, she has it in a little vial, and she's looking at it, and it's green. What's that? Huh? We had that two weeks ago too. Remember, it was about that buzzing. Yeah, it was like who was uh, uh, wasn't. Yeah. It's, it's not, not on now, there. Len. Whatever. Well, turn your mic back on. Yeah. Turn your mic back on. There we go. No, it's not happening. Oh, maybe there goes. It's starting. It. I wonder if it's the fan on this thing. Yep. Either that or it was Taco Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it had a... Um, uh, Funny. Uh, she had a green thing filled with radium. And I imagine she that's the way she treated it. She didn't think of it as being dangerous. Well, well you didn't know. They didn't know at that, that time. Right. But guys that played with mercury as a toy. Yeah. I mean, but she didn't know. And, uh, you know, she died. She was in her, what, 80s when she died. But she died of radiation poisoning. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing pictures of guys in mercury mines sitting on the mercury like a beanbag chair. Oh, really? Well, what about people in Vegas who went out to watch the atom bomb being, you know, mm -hmm. set off? I remember at the dentist as a child, the mercury that wasn't put in your mouth was in a cup and you kind of watched it play. Yeah. Roll around. It'd roll around, yeah. Well, yeah. Also, when they take x-rays of you, I don't, you know, you got to know it's not exactly the best thing for you if they're like putting this big thing on your chest and then moving to another state to click the uh, shutter 
you know. exactly. Yeah, the amount the amount today is like one tenth of of a hundredth of a percent of what it was when when we were kids. Really, it's a it's almost it's almost a non-existent dose, but they still keep the same precautions. Yeah. Well, uh, it was it it it. Um, I'll tell you the, the 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 thing they've got in dentistry now that I think is wonderful is the fact that they don't have to go develop the X-rays. Remember when right. you take an X-ray and they say we have to wait ten minutes while we they, they had to go into another room and, and develop into a dark room and they yeah you know, develop it's all digital and now it's, yeah. it's all digital it's right there she takes a picture and she looks at it. Yeah. Have you ever but they seen charge you as device? much as they for the yes. picture. Yes, they do charge you as much as they charge you for the x-rays, which probably costs more to do. Yeah. Have you seen the devices they used to use for, for wearing, for fitting shoes using x-ray? Oh, you looked through the machine and you saw your feet down you there. You put your feet in yeah. there and you could see your yeah. problems. Yeah. Yeah. Those were, those had hundreds of times more radiation going through you than an x-ray for your tooth. Those things were dangerous. Yeah. Really? That's why my feet are numb now, huh? It is. But I remember it was fun looking see. through, and you could see your feet inside the shoe if it fit. Yeah. Yeah, and then it was in every shoe store. Yeah. And it was it, fun. Yes, I used to just like to put my feet in there to see my bones. Everybody did. My toes or whatever, look through my shoes. Yeah. Well, um, it, but the, uh, it, did it have that much? It had that oh, yeah. much radioactivity. Wow. Did you ever have a live view like that back in those days? It had to have been a massive amount of radiation. Wow. wow. And they didn't put a lead thing over your wanky either. No. <laughs> Especially Marjorie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why they put the lead thing on you, the lead apron on you when they're taking a couple of precautions. Well, to begin with, they're shooting your mouth. All right. That's for starters. So why isn't there something protecting your mouth? All right. Secondly, the, stuff the stuff they're protecting is in your rib cage and your crotch. Yeah, but the amount of, of radioactivity. And your neck and the, your chest. The amount of radioactivity you would get as a result of that is, as you say these days, somewhat minimal. I mean, it's major for the guy taking the picture. He should go out of the room and click it and not do it there. Mm -hmm. But for you, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's that terrible. Uh, Shecky got a call. What's He's that got a phone with coming cord. out of his phone? That's his phone. There's a cord. That, it's yeah. <laughs> got a dial on it too, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll ask him when he comes back. What? Hey, he uses a pencil to dial it, like my grandmother. <laughs> yeah. Like a nail. You know, it's funny because we were at a garage sale and I was showing my daughter. We saw a dial phone and we were showing it to her and how it worked. And she couldn't figure it out. It's oh, funny, they were showing a group of young young adults a dial phone, and these were all like IT kids. They couldn't use it. Well, no, I'm 10 years old, we told her, this is how you dial popcorn to get the time. I, <laughs> I, goes, remember, what? I, I remember my mother, when, she, when I got her her first push button phone. Princess phone. That she couldn't do it to save her life. She'd go, yeah. one, three, I mean, yeah. Kids were going, boom, 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 right? Um, but one, two, three, and then if you give her a dial phone, she's going, ring, 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 ring. and you give some kid a dial phone, and you go, one, <laughs> two. Well, remember when phone numbers had words on them, like diamond yeah. four? And I was, we were Greenwood seven, four, yeah. three, eight, two. We were diamond three, diamond two, four, six, oh, two, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, I was talking. I was talking to a 24-year-old kid in a marketing consult today, and he was asking, "Well, before before the internet, what kind of marketing tools did you did you use?" And I said, "Well, you know, brochures and flyers and telephones, and donuts." <laughs> yeah. What were the donuts for? To get the guy to read the flyers. The flyers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. To get to get past to get past the security guard. <laughs> wow. Wow. It, Man, I've, I've been having allergies today. Terrible. I had to take one of these allergy pills, so I, it's making me a little loopy. But, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, we're, we're back. It, it's pollen's going up again. I don't know why, and I don't know what determines it. Any of you people have allergies? I do, but. I'm telling you to take that Aller clear stuff. That's what I take. Well, that's what I took. 
and it doesn't work. It works to a certain extent. You know what happens with all those medicines? Every single day, whether I have allergies or not, every single day of the year, that's what my doctor said, and you never have it. But the problem is, after a couple of years, you build up an immunity to it. Yeah, but see, that and, happened and I to me. Have, I have to give myself shots because you build up an immunity <clears> after two years. Well, I had that for um, with Allegra, and then they switched me to that other, to the Aller Clear. Right, and, and that's good worked, for a couple of years. And it's worked for five time. years already, and I've had allergies all my life. I mean, I, I used to drive truck, and I would get behind a hay truck, and you uh, talk about a semi trying to stay in two lanes, uh-uh, between two <laughs> lines, behind a hay truck, uh-uh. <laughs> I give myself shots, and if it's a bad day, sometimes two shots. I got out, I got out of mowing the lawn when I was a kid. <laughs> we got a, uh, we got a, a, what do you call it, a... Uh, uh, air filter. Air, air purifier. Uh-huh. Uh, and I haven't been able to figure out whether it works or not. I find that when I close the door in the bedroom and I don't let... It, it, let it just do its job right in the room rather than shoving the air out of the room and so on, that I think it gets better. My allergies are not as bad. My eyes feel better and so on. And Marjorie, who takes these shots, says you haven't had to take the shots in a couple of weeks. You haven't had to take them a lot. I take it like instead of every day, I've been taking it like every four or five days. Yeah, so it could very well be, you know, you never know. It's different pollutants and everything else, too. Uh, yeah. And I'm allergic to all of it. Shecky, yeah. Shecky punked out. He had a call there he was taking. So, Oh, no, he's back. He's down there, though. He just turned well, he's off. Got his, he's got his voice. Uh, his you know, camera off. Well, his camera's yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, um, uh, so Kevin, uh, Texas is really terrible. Still bad? I mean, so far as corona? Scott. Scott. What did I say? Kevin. You said Kevin. Kevin. You were talking to me last. You didn't yeah. dump me from your data bank. Oh, <laughs> I, from my mental data bank. Yeah, Scott. Yeah, it, it's it's still bad. I mean, Charlie gives you the updates, but yeah, it's it's still bad. And and our little county had uh, like 300 over the weekend. More people got wow. positive tested. And it's a county of a million people. So 300 people said, well, it's not that bad. Well, fine. Well, Tell that to the 300 so you you don't want it to get bad i mean the fact is it's a highly contagious flu that's it plain and simple you know and uh easily transmissible and that's why you want to be careful about it and airborne you know i mean uh, do you think i like staying in here i've been in, in this apartment basically for six months you know, I mean, I, ha months. I have been out, but just on very rare occasions. And when I do, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in a, uh, uh, I'm dodging. It's like I'm playing a video game and I'm trying to dodge stuff, you know, and then it's people unbearably, and it's unbearably hot out there too. Yeah. So. But there are people there out there with no masks. I know too many people. I was out for brunch Sunday, outdoor brunch, and there's still too many people with no masks. It's ridiculous. You know, it, they're only lucky in that we have a low infection rate in New York City right now, but they keep that crap up and we're not going to. Did you see I was on the news this morning of the California people, these million millionaire parties yeah. with lions and tigers and giraffes. And thousand people partying in these mansions. Really? Beverly Hills, yeah. It's yeah. Idiots. Yeah, that's unbelievable. New, new in the middle of, of a pandemic. Heard. And I heard about there were these secret raves down in Brooklyn. when they're just packing, you know, thousand people into a basement with no masks. Morons. Jesus. Well, the school down in Georgia, they got, yeah. that high school, they got nailed. And what, they had uh, yeah. nine positives this week. So they wow. checked on the school. I love that they suspended the girl at first for taking the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Huh? That was a great shot. It was. Yeah. But, you know, it, you kill the messenger. You know? I mean. Uh, well, if we can't eat indoors, how can we open schools? You can't. It's ridiculous, right? Well, I, mean, I can't eat in a restaurant, but you can, ha you can have a public school open? Our That's governor did a wise thing here. He decided the schools could open. And the reason he said they could open with a butt, with a butt, but he's been following the science. And he said, our infection rate is so low 
that if it were over 5%, I wouldn't let you open the schools. It's under 5%. In fact, it's under 1%. Okay? So therefore, you can open them up if your district wants to open them up. Before you do it, you have to, A, have a plan which you submit to the state. And secondly, you have to have five meetings with the parents to see what their thinking is on it before you open up. And I'm not saying that every school district has to open up. I'm just saying that if you feel that in your area, that's right. you can, then I will not stand in your way until we see the infection rate go up, at which point we're just closing it all down. Uh, now, you have, you have a kid, right, Kevin? You know, yep. And you worry about them, but doesn't that sound reasonable to you? Yep, and they've done a little bit of that, but they haven't done everything. They're starting on Thursday online. Really? Yeah, well, California. I mean, do you really yeah. open up the schools in California? Are our school districts opening in California at all? Yes, Not they are. They're opening, but they're opening online. I see. Okay. All right. At least here they are. Well, after, after 37 years of teaching, I just decided last week that I'm done. Good for I was, you. I was, I was going to go, you know, in September, but I'm like, you know, I, I can't do this. It's just, it's absurd. What do you teach? I teach English at a private high school. Private high school. Yeah. yeah. Are they reopening? They're doing some. They don't know yet. I mean, that's part of why I said I just can't deal with this. They're doing, um, I think all the academics are going to be on Zoom and they're going to have some in-building programming so if kids could come in for art classes and stuff like that. Yeah. But I did the Zoom teaching from March till now and it's just, it's not what I want to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, why, why, you know, why risk your life doing this? Yeah. Yeah, I figure I only had, I was going to do two more years part-time at most anyway, so, you know. I mean, if I were a parent, I, I would not, send, I would, if I were a parent, I would not send my kid back to school. Oh, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't either. either. You know, once we come up with a, uh, uh, a what do you call it, a, a vaccine, okay, I'm, I'm there, but we aren't. Uh, and the only problem with the, with the, uh, what do you call it, with the, uh, Oh, we have Shecky left completely. Um, uh, the, the reason why, um, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. Vaccine, vaccine. Oh, oh, they say the vaccine is maybe, they'll accept 50% on it, and 75 is what they're hoping for. They say that with 75%, we can get a herd immunity. But there's no herd immunity the way things are now, not even close. Nowhere near. You know. Uh, my my wife teaches at the at Cleveland State as an adjunct, and all her classes are online. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and because they're adjuncts too, the, the liability is higher because they're not really employees; they're part timers. Right. Yeah. So right. The only the only classes that can happen on campus are with full time professors. Yeah. Hmm. Her, 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 we were talking about this the other night. Uh, uh, Kevin was in on the discussion, and that was just all the other problems with kids not going to school. I mean, the socialization that they get from going to school yeah. is being missed out on. That's probably maybe the greatest lesson they get. All the rest you can teach online, but you can't teach socialization. Especially, especially for the littler kids, right? For you know, younger kids. Yeah. yeah. What are we going to do with all these kids now looking at their phones and the screens? Because they sure were before. <laughs> That's right. They, you know, totally no. <laughs> yeah, here we are telling them not to, not to back off on them, back off on them, and now they got to go to school, and they we're telling them, oh, you got to get on now. Well, I don't. I, you have a kid. Is your your kid going back to school online, Kevin? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Okay, let me know how. Oh, well, she's been working all summer too. Oh, uh, okay. So you've seen her learning online, right? Yeah. Does it look effective? Yeah, fairly. I mean, she, she knows how to manage her time real well, and uh, but she gets frustrated, too. And what form does it take? Is it just the teacher there, or is it the teacher and all the students? Well, it it's, looks to me like most of it is the teacher's there for a period of time. They, they do a little bit of teaching, and then they dish out um, assignments. assignments, and then they work on those for a few days. And then they come back on do some teaching, dish out assignments, and work a few days. Steve, how much actual then, teaching goes on in a given hour in, in a classroom? Out of an hour, 
No, I, I don't know Steve, for sure, but I, I would guess about half hour, 40 minutes, maybe. I was asking Steve, too, because well, yeah, Steve might know better. Well, when we did it from March till June, it was they really reduced the time. It was I like this way of doing it. So for English, they met only they had two half hour classes a week. Yeah, and the, that, rest was, the rest was asynchronous, where I'd give them you know stuff to do and think about, and they could go into breakout rooms and write paragraphs and talk amongst themselves. But we only had a half an hour where I had you know sixteen faces on the screen, and we'd talk about those things twice a week. Say you want. That, say that's you, the way I, I say, saw it say too. You, say you want to give a test. How do you do that? No, you, you know I couldn't give a test. We we eliminated midterms and fi you know finals. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you know, you could do a, a you could do a writing at, on an honor code, I guess. You know, where you could have them, you know, do an essay, or I could sit there and look at them. We do in class essays when we're in person, right? Where I spend a period, say you're writing for this period, and I'm collecting it and grading it. So I could do that. And, and they watch. could can they send them to you using Zoom? Yeah, they can. Yeah, no, well, you know, we did it's it with Google, Google Docs a lot. Yeah, we did it with Google Docs exactly. Yeah, so but I think that was a lot, a lot because it was fresh. It was new, and right. everybody's trying to figure it out in the beginning. But I think they've got a better setup now, and I'm not sure. You know, it's all fresh and new too because it's the beginning of the school year now. But I was also working with kids that I had taught for the whole year. Now you, you've got kids like ninth grade, for example. They're coming freshman, in high yeah. school. Yeah. No, I don't know who they are. It would yep. be really hard. You'd have to spend a couple of weeks getting. It's got to be tough for them because they're just going into high school and going, right. "What the hell?" Uh, yeah. kind of Not to mention the price <laughs> you're paying for it at yeah. a school like mine, which is exactly <laughs> kind of coming to the end of our time. Uh, Lynn, how's Barb? She's well. She actually thought she had COVID last week as well, and got a test. It took ten days. Uh, to get the results, and it turned out it was negative, so all good. Oh, okay. So you find I got that. my last test back in four days. Wow. That was she pretty was good. So, she, was, she was just feeling, you know, ill. She didn't, now she feels fine, and so all Well, good. we all get to feeling ill every now and then, and now when you feel ill, you think it's the cold. Yeah. Like it's yeah. <laughs> Scott, good talking to you again. Nice to well, see you on our. I thought I'd try it. See, yeah, I heard you talking about this, and it's it's nice. It's very pleasant. It's a different show, isn't it? Yeah. No very Phil. <laughs> no Phil. Yay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't say that. I said it. <laughs> um, uh, Andrew, great talking to you again. Love having you here on Mondays. Marjorie, you too. It's the only time she and I ever talk to each other. True. Uh, Steve Bender, thank you, and Kevin, thank you. Uh, and to thank you to everybody who's watching us right now on, on Facebook. And I, I do this, I'll probably do this again next week, too. I like doing it. Nice bunch of people. N not difficult to pull off. And, you know, it's terrific. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Okay, thank okay. you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Okay. And we'll also stop the uh, Facebook. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.